تمام آه بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم هنتكلم النهارده على سمبل الاينر اورثودونتكس اتس ا سيريز اوف ليكتشرز وي بيجن وي جن بي جيفنج ات اوفر تايم نبتدي النهارده بحاجه بسيطه آه نتكلم بيها على الاينرز وليه نستخدم سبيشلي فور جي بي اي ريكومند يوزنج الاينرز فور سمبل كيسز فانا هوريكم بعض الحالات آه اللي هي سمبل وبرضه هوريكم الحالات اللي هي صعبه عشان نتجنبها فان شاء الله في النص ساعه ديت وهنسيب برضو few minutes at the end for Q&A فاللي عنده اي سؤال في اخر خمس دقائق ان شاء الله هنفتح مكان للاسئله انا اسمي هشام عامر انا بورد سيرتيفايد اورثودونتست من امريكا سنه 2010 كلينيكال بروفيسور ات يونيفرسيتي اوف باسيفيك في سان فرانسيسكو من 2002 وي ام ذا فاوندر اوف امريكان الاينرز 2018 وي ام ان ديزاين بروفايدر سنس 2000 خلي بالكم سمبل الاينر اورثودونتكس تشمل ثلاث حاجات اول حاجه اورثودونتكس ايه اهميه الاورثودونتكس بالنسبه للجي بي او ليه تتعلمها او ليه تعملها في عيادتك في كتير من الاحيان بيبقى عندك حالات ريستوراتيف ما تقدرش تحلها غير لما تظبط الاورثو الاول سو فور ا سمبل كيس ليت سي مثلا ا ميسنج توث لور رايت first molar اللي بيحصل ان السنان بتبتدي تزحزح وتقفل المكان دوت لو حبيت تحط امبلانت او بريدج حتى with the inclined teeth it's going to be very hard to have a good path of insertion وتعمل لك period of problems for future وطبعا بيبقى في شويه spacing عايز تقفلهم برضو in the front عشان السنان حصل فيها drift فكل الحالات دي can be simple orthodontics that can be fixed خلي السنان straight and then you can put your bridge or implant نفس الفكره بالنسبه للبوزنج لو في اي اكستروجن حصل نتيجه الميسنج بوزنج توث برضه فكره الديب بايت ان كتير من الناس لما بتبقى عايز تحط فينيرز في الانتيريورز ابر او لور وعندك ديب بايت فانت الديب بايت اتس نوت ا جود كيس فور فينيرز انتل يو فيكس ذا ديب بايت فور ا سمبل كيس اجين يو كان ريلي يوز اورثودونتكس تو جيت ا بيتر ريستوراتيف ورك فور يور كيسز Uh, lay aligners, mesh braces. Um, and aligners is it's the new thing. Uh, patient is coming asking for it. Uh, it's clear, convenient. The patient can take it out to eat brush and floss. Uh, he can eat any food. He's not restricted what he can or cannot eat. Uh, also, you know, the, the, the convenience of there's no emergency is a plus. يعني ما فيش حاجة اسمها loose wire. أو لوس براكت أو حاجة تكون مضايقة البيشنت خلال فترة العلاج التصوير طبعا الناس كلها بتحب تصور سيلفي ومش سيلفي في ناس بتطلع في التلفزيون في أساتذة في الجامعة في مدرسين في المدارس كل الحاجات ديت الناس مش عايزة تطلع ببريسز فطبعا ذا ويت لوكس ميكس الاينرز مور ابيلينج فور يور بيشنتس ذان بريسز فده فكرة الاينرز وخلي بالكم اتس جيتنج مور اند مور كونفينينت ناو يعني يعني زمان كون ذيس اونلي وان لاب ان فيزالاين ات هاز بين ذير فور ييرز اند ذيس واز اونلي واي تو جيت ات ناو وي هاف لايك 20 ديفرنت لابس ذات كان هيلب يو ميك الاينرز ان توب اوف ذات وي هاف ذا 3 دي برنترز ناو ان ان ايجيبت او ان يو اس اي ان بوث اي ورك اند اي هاف ماي اون الاينرز سو اجين اتس فيري ايزي فيري كونفينيت وي اكشلي هاف ا هول 2 يير Uh, diploma that is in Egypt and in California that we teach every attendee how to make their own aligners. I want it cheaper, the Sanian faster than it is and the brand. And again, in, in a fast way, you don't have to wait to send it out and much less uh, cost uh, for you and for the patient. So it's definitely a plus for everyone. That's why aligners. And uh, last but not least is simple. Um, I really recommend for a general dentist to use uh, simple cases. Don't go for the advanced cases unless if you are qualified for it. The reason is it's a win-win-win. When you have a simple case, first of all, you finish early. You get six months, maximum 12 months. So you're done in a good timing. For the patient, you're ha he's happy, he's, he's done simple case. He doesn't have to go another office, which doesn't mean you should want to go to the same place, the same place, general dentist can help for a simple case. So it's convenient for the patient, convenient for the dentist, and profitable. 
when you go for a, a longer treatment plan, and especially if you don't know exactly how to finish the case or how to do it in the right way, that makes it over time less profitable for you. How to make good money out of ortho. So if you want to get make good money, go for a simple case. Trust me on that. And I'll, I'll tell you in a few of the cases I'm going to be showing you today. I'm going to talk about the orthodontics. Of course, orthodontists themselves don't like dentists who work ortho, which I don't think is the right way to do it. And uh, general dentists, some of them get super excited and want to do every case coming to his or her office. So uh, I, again, the magic word is six to 12 months. I think if you do it within six to 12 months, everyone will be happy. And again, in every course I would give, there's always someone who's super excited. And if you look at the pictures of the lady in the middle here, you see how excited she is. So um, I want you to be in the middle. Don't get super excited and don't go, uh, you should you know, avoid doing orthotics. I think the middle is, is, is a good thing to do. Um, it's a whole um, uh, science. Yeah, and you cannot take orthodontics, just part of it, and skip everything else. So you have to start with a good diagnosis, good treatment plan, good mechanics, and then you end up with good result. If you miss up in the diagnosis, guaranteed the treatment plan is not going to be right. Mechanics was not going to be helping you, and then you end up with poor result. So again, every single case start with diagnosis, treatment plan, mechanics, and then result. Finishing would be a part of it. If you have a normal occlusion, class one mild occlusion, class two mild occlusion, class three mild occlusion. We don't have the time to go over it right now, but I just give you a general idea of what are the diagnosis we do in orthodontics. I want you to read that, especially if you do any case, either with aligners or with braces, you really have to spend time in diagnosis. So you need to check the overdraft, you need to see the open bite, overbite. Uh, again, it can be skeletal, can be dental. So you have to be um, careful of what you're gonna be planned. So if a dental problem, you need to fix it dentally. If it's a skeletal problem, you need to fix it skeletally. Unless if the patient cannot do surgery or, or for any other reason, then you can have to understand there's a compromise result that can help the patient. And again, treatment can be, the same case can be treated differently. So if you have, in a case like this, um, let's say you have a, a class two and you want to advance it, so you can take extraction, you can do surgery. There's always different options. And I, I love giving the option to the patient. Give the patient all the option. Then number one is the best option. Number two is less, less than best and then so on and so forth. And then the least would be, the least favorable bone would be the last one. And let the patient choose. Maybe he or she needs something fast. Maybe he or she would don't mind the surgery. Maybe he or she would not, um, yeah, I mean, cannot afford to do this kind of treatment or that kind of treatment. So give the patient options, let him or her choose what's best for them. Um, we're going to discuss five cases in the next uh, 20 minutes. And again, I always say orthodontics like a puzzle. So spend some time to get to figure it out. Um, there's no two cases that have been treated similarly. I've been practicing for 25 years. So it's, it's, again, it's very hard to say, even twins, sometimes they don't have the same malocclusion and the same treatment would be hard. So, and last but not least, um, there's no uh, cookbook for orthodontics. So if someone tells you this book covers all the cases you'll ever see in your life, that's not true. So um, again, the more you take courses, the more you uh, do cases, the more you have experience, the more you share, then you would have the best uh, results for your cases. So case number one, uh, it's um, starting with a question, can aligners or braces cause root resorption? So if you can get to see this case here, it seems to be simple because you have a class one mud occlusion on the right side, a class one mud occlusion on the left side, some crowding in the lower teeth, and definitely a cross bite in the upper left central. So Given that looks to be a simple case, um, young male, 42 years old, easy to be fixed. That's what it seems to be. 
but um, given that, and I, I didn't treat the case, but I saw the case after one year in treatment. So given what you're going to see now after one year of treatment and you still see there's that tooth and crossbite. So I'll give you 10 seconds just to think about it. Why, even though there is a space for the tooth now, the central has enough room to, to pass over the, the lower front teeth and same thing for the lower teeth. They are spaced, which means we can push this one lingually very easily. We can push this one labially very easily. But what happened that made this case after one year still not fixed and not out of crossbite? Think about it together for a few seconds. Okay. Even though the majority of cases I tell my, my patient that aligners and braces are the same, but there's few differences, okay? One of the differences, remember that with aligner, you take the aligner out to eat brush and floss. So this patient, for example, the aligner is pushing that tooth out of crossbite and pushing this, the lower one lingually, the upper one labially, but every time he takes the aligner out, this tooth that is in crossbite is not passing because he's biting down and pushing the tooth back. So aligners doesn't work 24 seven because you take it out maybe two hours every day to eat, brush and floss. So by doing that, you keep pushing that tooth back. So what's the solution for this? Very easy, very simple. Took like less than six months to really fix his case, even though it has been a year with this problem because we just opened the bite a little bit in the back and we were able to jump that tooth out very easily because we have enough room for it. But the matter of opening the bite permanently for that two, three months, this is how we'd be fixing it. So we put actually like a bite box on the back teeth and the aligner will be covering it so that the patient, when he takes out the aligners to eat, brush and floss, then he's still gonna be biting on these composite on the back teeth until we can jump that tooth out of the crossbite. Again, it's a little bit difference between braces and aligners, but again, this is a simple case, should have been done less than a year, but a, a small mistake that the dentist didn't figure out that made that treatment goes more than expected. Um, another case, keeping it simple is this. This is an excellent case to show your patients that can be finished in eight months. So before and after, aligners can really fix simple crowding. Patient is happy, smiling great, and that would be your case to start. This is what I mean by simple case. Another simple case, open bite, close the bite, using aligners, very easy. Case number two. كلنا بنفكر دايما خصوصا دكاتره التقويم في الاكلوجن اهم حاجه ان السنه تبقى مظبوطه in a perfect class one perfect occlusion so when we have a case like this one here having good class one on the left side actually class two on the sorry good class one on the right side and class two on the left side but very good intercuspation here which is great if I try to move these forward just to close the spaces, I might lose this good intercuspation on this side. So again, check the spacing here, check the spacing here. There's no missing teeth, by the way. If you, can, if you count all the teeth here, you'll see it's, it's a normal, um, you know, 12 set of teeth, right and left, upper and lower. But Given that he has a good occlusion and you don't want to ruin that occlusion, and again, talking about an implant case, can we close all the spaces and just make an extra tooth, maybe somewhere here? That was exactly the solution. So given that he has a good occlusion here, class two, and we don't want to really ruin that occlusion, we just opened the space, kept everything in place, close all the spaces in front, and we open a space for an implant. Is the patient is happy? Definitely, because his main concern was closing the spaces, which we did. 
And adding that extra tooth, and instead of just moving everything forward and can ruin the occlusion, we got the midline on, we got a good occlusion. So this is a simple case, as long as you have the good diagnosis, good treatment, and that definitely the final result would be good for you. And another question, which you usually have, can we move teeth parallelism? Uh, oh, yeah, and it's my bodily movement of the of the teeth and the roots to open a space for an implant using aligners. Yes, and this is actually approved for what I'm saying. Again, this is a before and after for this case. We open a space for the lower left implant, and that was a good choice so that we don't have to ruin his occlusion. Um, again, I'm trying to show you more and more of the simple cases so you can focus on these simple. You finish in less than 12 months, you win, patient win, everyone is happy. Again, another case, this is only upper arch, some expansion, a little bit of a, um, a IPR, which is sending between the teeth, making her a nice smile, she's happy and everyone is winning. Try not to go for cases like this. It's even hard for orthodontists and might require surgery. Really, trust me, don't even think about it. Sometimes even the patient is not aware of his malocclusion. He's coming just because his teeth are misaligned, not because of his open bite. And again, do you think you can find a simple case? Yes. And I always say, Kareem Abdul Aziz will upper right lateral that is in cross bite, as you can see it here. That can be a simple case. And again, it's affecting his life. So you can talk to your patient, tell him, you, know, you want to get something nice and straight within 12 months, we can help you with that. Just make sure you have the right selection of your cases. Okay. Lazen tisma al patient who is Again, when you have something you want to do with Allah, and the patient wants to do with Allah, you always listen to the patient. The patient is the most important doctor when it comes to the treatment. In a case like this, you can see she has severe upper and lower crowding. Took us two years to fix uh, her teeth. Perfect occlusion. Uh, we took out actually two upper premolars. The deep bite is gone. Overjet is gone. So it looks really, really good. Is that true? Let's think about that when we see her smile. So again, the patient main concern is the smile. This is her before smile, showing about 80% of, of her upper teeth. Now she's only showing like 40%. When we do that, again, she has a good occlusion, but the smile is not good. The main, main uh, issue or the main, main concern for most patients is they want to have the perfect smile. The occlusion is good, but more importantly, the smile. So look at the patient, make sure you and the patient are on the same page so you can have a happy patient at the end. You can make the patient look younger and you can make the patient look older. If you go back to this one, honestly, she looks like 20 years older just because we are uh, showing less of her upper teeth. Comparing to this one, she looks younger. Why? Because she's showing more of her teeth when she smiles, especially the upper ones. Okay? Maybe she's smiling a little bit more here, but overall we did some extrusion in the upper teeth and that helped for her to give a better smile. Bayman Lama Bukharan Bain al braces will Invisalign. I'll give the example of my son, Yusuf. Yusuf, when he got his, uh, I think he was nine years old when he started the braces, nice smile, happy person. And then putting the braces on, the smile is not as good until he was done with that phase. And then giving him Invisalign at that time, and he's happy again. So it's definitely uh, a more convenient and happy moment to shift between braces and aligners. And I'm sure some of you who had tried both, uh, they would know that this is very true. Simple case can be just space closure. And again, uh, Dr. Muhammad Fadl is a, you know, a good patient that finished treatment in five months just to close a gap between his upper teeth. Simple, easy, patient is happy, and you are happy too. This is his before and after. This is using aligners. Again, some crowding in the bottom. We got that fixed as well. Um, talking about severe case, this is Dr. Ibrahim. So again, 
even though we got really good uh, result and good comments, but it would be a tough one for a dentist to, to handle such a case. And I'll tell you why. This is the last case, so we, we will leave some time for uh, Q&A. So any questions, you can get it ready now. So having deep bite is hard. Having crowding in the upper, not too severe, so we're okay. But if you take a look on the lower, it's severely crowded. So see that tooth here? Most dentists, when they get to see that case, first thing come to mind is, let's extract that tooth. أول ما تخلع السنة دي المشكلة مش إن أنت تالين التيث. That should be actually much easier to make the lower teeth straight when you extract that tooth. But if you extract that tooth, you will never be able to correct the deep bite. So again, diagnosis in this case is class one, severe deep bite because you cannot see any of the lower front teeth here, severe lower crowding, mild upper crowding. So the upper arch is easy, but to fix the bite and to make room for that tooth, that's very hard. It took us two years to get him from here to here. And actually, we didn't extract any teeth. So you can see we have one, two, three, four lower incisors. And we had to do it this way. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to fix his, his deep bite. You know why? Because you have 16 teeth on the top and 15 teeth in the bottom if you extract that tooth. So there's no way a small arch would fit ideal with a, with a larger arch unless if you have the same number of teeth. So if extracting that lower uh, left incisor in a case like this would really have ruined the bite for this patient. Again, try to avoid cases that is hard like this one. Go for a simple case. This is my message for today. And I'm happy to see any questions that you might have. We had actually success with uh, Dr. Ibrahim. Nice straight teeth, good bite, good smile. And he's happy and we are happy too. All right. So now um, let me uh, get to open uh, for questions. And hopefully uh, we can actually get to see that from you. Let's see. OK, so I'm going to just uh, check if there's any questions for me. Um, why class? OK, uh, I made class one bite and class one occlusion. احنا دايما بنقول للبيشن ان احنا الاكلوجن عامله زي جير عارفه لما عندك ترسين بمعشقين في بعض اوكي طيب لو انت عندك الدروس معشقه في بعض هتقفل العضه كويسه هتخلي الانامل بريزرفد اوفر تايم وانت بتاكل وانت انت بتستعمل سنانك يعني لكن if you have a class 2 او حتى هاف واي كلاس 2 يعني لو عندك كسب تو كسب بدل كسب تو فصا فمع الوقت الكسبات دي اولا the, the bite wouldn't be ideal when you chew the food. So first affect your chewing ability. Two is having cusp to cusp or edge to edge like this would get more of enamel loss over time. Uh, if, it, if, if you're young and you want to keep your teeth for a long time, you want to preserve your enamel for a long time. So uh, my answer to you is yes, we would like to have either full class one or full class two, but having a good occlusion is important. If you have full class two, then hopefully the canine is still class one by extracting some teeth. I will on the overjet, just make sure the patient understand why overjet is, is not good for him or for her. Let's check the second question. طيب خلينا اسالكم سؤال لحد ما يبعتوا لنا السؤال اللي بعديه. آه زمان كان الالاينرز زي ما قلنا بتتعمل بشركه واحده اسمها انفيزالاين وكان انفيزالاين بتتعمل في امريكا فطبعا الكوست بتاع الالاينر كان بيوصل ل 2000 و 3000 دولار. ذا جود نيوز اجين مع ال 3 دي برنترز ومع كل التكنولوجي ذات وي هاف 
3D printer can get a very good printer between 50,000 Egyptian pounds all the way to 150. And the investment, investment on average 100,000 Egyptian pounds. So, يعني 100,000 3D printer. Okay, 3D printer is going to make what? It's going to models. من المودلز هتعمل الاينرز الاينر لو انت هتعمله ان يور كلينيك او ان يور لاب الكوست عليك هتبقى في حدود الـ يعني الموديل مع الاينر حوالي 100 جنيه فلو انت عندك حاله مثلا هتاخد 20 الاينر تتكلم في 2000 جنيه فقلنا بندفع يعني 2000 دولار في الحاله لو انت هتعملها في عيادتك هتبقى واقف عندك ب 2000 جنيه الحاله كأنك بالظبط جبت سيرك ماشين وحطيتها عندك طبعا مع الفارق ان 3 3D برينتر رخيصة جدا مقارنة بسيرك ماشين فانت بتتكلم في انفستمنت بتاعت 100000 جنيه ممكن تخلي لك الحالة بدل ما بتدفع فيها 2000 دولار تدفع فيها 2000 جنيه مصري شايف الفرق قد ايه؟ عشان كده بقول لكم الالاينر از ريلي جونا بي بومينج ان ذا ان ذا نكست فيو مانث ان شاء الله يعني السؤال الثاني uh, aligners can be used with any cases even if it's a difficult one uh, يعني I would say yes ليه؟ احنا دلوقتي التكنولوجي اللي عندنا مع وجود احنا بنعمل rubber bands مع aligners بنعمل uh, twin block مع aligners بنعمل uh, uh, expanders مع aligners فانت you can, you can do lots of things and lots of cases And, and again, if you attend my uh, two-year uh, diploma that we have in Egypt or in California, هتعرف إن إحنا بنعدي علينا حالات um, really, really hard and we still can do uh, يعني as good as braces when it comes to these cases. So the technology that we have now is different than what we had 10 years ago. That's why we can do difficult and severe cases with the minors. Yes. Uh, السؤال الثالث في الكيس الأولانية uh, بيقول uh, إحنا كان عندنا في الكيس الأولانية اللي كان عنده class 1 in the right side class 2 on the left side uh, why to maintain the bite in the class 2 on the left side خلي بالك من حاجة uh, knowing the etiology of the case can help you determine What's the best for the patient? نفترض إن إحنا في الحالة دي يعني أفنا كل spaces ورجعنا كل the upper and lower arch back. What created these spaces in that case? What created these spaces in that case? What's pushing the teeth from the inside that push everything and make spaces between the teeth? It's definitely the tongue. And if you can get to remember the case and look at the the tongue in that patient, is it's big tongue. Even though, yes, I can with aligners close the spaces and push everything back, but where would the tongue go if we do that? The tongue is going to go further back. I had seen some cases where before orthodontic treatment, they didn't have any breathing or breathing issues or, or, or um, sleep apnea or difficulty. And again, when you affect the tongue space, it can cause problems. Just because you are pushing everything back, having less space for a large tongue, that can cause again one of the causes of a sleep apnea is large tongue. So try to avoid not every space that you see, just close it. Try to see the etiology of it, so you can prevent and avoid uh, getting problems for the patient that he didn't have before treatment. Okay, let me see if there's any other question. Um, Them, when there's an upper crowding and severe in one arch, in this case, can we use aligner in the upper arch? Very good question. Saad bi bandina hala mild crowding for the upper and severe crowding for the lower. Zay al akhir hala lahna alab ma. Hal mungkin naamal aligner for the upper arch or braces for the lower arch? Definitely yes. Actually, it sometimes is more convenient. Arfin le? Then the braces in the lower teeth doesn't show. Yeah, the patient mungkin yet hakwa abtasam muyish hayato. Then the upper is aligners, it doesn't show. With lower, the fee severe problem, braces can can work better in some cases. So maybe having upper aligners and lower braces definitely is a good option. And I, we do it in my office as well, my clinic. Um, 
السؤال الخامس um, as an orthodontist uh, what mean keys you look during the examination what do you practice ممتاز سؤال بيقول في الدياجنوز بتاعتك what do you what 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 do you do and what do you do in the examination and how to make, put priorities uh, for the patient if he has more than one problem let's say under crowding under open bite and the cross bite and do uh, breathing issues and do decalcification and do perio how you can put priority طبعا uh, again i stress and yani very very important to start with the diagnosis spend time and yani 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 learn it really really good if you miss in the diagnosis you're going to miss in the treatment you're going to miss in the result so uh, yani yani priorities really depends on the case yani لو حد عنده بيريو بيريو ايشوز ان هي وونت دو اورثودونكس يعني مهما كان عنده من مادر كلوجن اي هاف تو ادريس البيريو الاول لو البيشنت مثلا مين كونسيرن از هاو ذا تيث لوكس اند دازنت كير ماتش اباوت ا كروس بايت ذات هي اور شي هاز ان ذا باك ذن ذا استاتكس فور ذات كيس ويل بي مور امبورتنت ذان ذا كروس بايت ان ذا باك ف ذير از نو كوك بوك وين ات كمز تو اورثودونكس اي كان نوت تيل يو Number one is this. But actually, number one is different from one case to the other, if that's the right answer for you. Okay. Um, implant cases are treated as normal patient or do they do So I'll help. خلي بالك إن أي حد حاطة implant, the implant is fused to the bone. Once you have an implant, you cannot move that tooth forever. عشان كده لو عندك أي implants, دائما حاول تأجله بعد التقويم عشان once أنت حاطة the implant, there's no way you can move. the implant uh, with either aligners or braces in okay afdal umr na'mal fi al patient yani yamal fi aligners or orthodontics taban yani the american association for orthodontics which is the highest uh, association uh, in orthodontics in, in in usa it recommends every patient to be seen by an orthodontist at age 7 at age 7 and sin 7 سنين The after one, after time, after age, to have the first checkup. If everything is looking good, then we can see that patient again at age 12. So ideally, seven, 12, and any age after that. And I had the patient, he was 83 years old doing aligners in my office, in my clinic. For, for again, there's no age limit how, how old you are, but uh, The recommended age is seven, 12, and after that, any age. The the younger, the better. Okay. Uh, if there's a case containing implant, is it treated as normal tooth or have a special method? We talked about that. Implant tooth cannot move orthodontically because there's no periodontal ligament. It's already fused to the bone, osteointegrated to the bone. If someone is 27 year old, class two, div two, malocclusion, what is the best? Um, يعني again uh, class 2 can be treated by different modules في uh, مديول اسمه rubber band بتلبس rubber band من aligners اللي فوق اللي تحت في مديول تاني اسمه twin block which is حاجة بت build uh, like a slope into the aligner so when the patient bites down the lower jaw would move forward until we get to achieve the class 1 uh, في مديول تالت uh, surgery انت بت move the whole lower jaw forward Uh, في مديول رابع uh, uh, يعني again class 2 can be treated okay uh, طبعا في حالة زي ما انت قلت class 2 did to معناها ان انت لازم to align the front teeth first then use the class 2 mechanics so it has to be in sequence so طبعا لازم تعمل uh, ال class 2 did to معناها ان احنا نراجع لورا شوية لازم تخلي فيه space عشان تظبط ال overjet بعد كده class 2 mechanics عشان تظبط الاوفرجيت بتاعت البيشنت. اوكي. Okay. Uh, I think that was my last question. And again, sorry if I got a little bit over time and got a little bit behind uh, with my uh, lecture for today. Uh, thank you.